Last fall, somebody asked me about using a contact mic to record the sound of caterpillars eating leaves. And by coincidence, about a week before, I had seen this weird little dude. Look at those crazy eye spot things. I later found out that this is a western tiger swallowtail, and the caterpillar is normally green, and they also usually spend all of their time in trees. In fact, they'll spend their whole life in a single tree until they're ready to pupate, at which point they'll turn orange and come down out of their tree to find somewhere to pupate. So this weird little dude is literally on its metamorphic journey. I feel like it's gonna go write a bad novel, Herman Hess or something. But anyway, like I said, this was before I ever thought about trying to record one of these. So then I became obsessed with trying to find another one. And I looked everywhere and I could not find one. I also learned that whoever's left in the fall will overwinter in their chrysalis. So my weird little dude probably was the last straggler of this season. So winter came and lasted about 24 months. And then finally spring came and suddenly one day I started seeing these things. Yay, butterflies! And good footage of these is really hard to get, so let me tell you a little story. When I was in elementary school, I very distinctly remember learning that you can tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth because butterflies rest with their wings closed and moths rest with their wings open. And I really internalized this fact, like I can see it in my mind's eye, a dainty little butterfly sitting there with its wingtips touching, sucking the sap out of trees? That doesn't sound right. Okay, that's creepy. And like so many supposed facts that I learned in school, this one can be debunked with a single observation. But anyway, as soon as I saw the butterflies, I ran to the park to look for caterpillars, and I did find some of these things. I don't know what species these are, but I do know that caterpillars go through several stages called instars, and they molt between their instars, and so their appearance can change quite dramatically. But it also stands to reason that it's a bit too early to see the species that I'm looking for. Since I just saw the butterflies, it'll probably take a couple of weeks for them to lay eggs and for those eggs to hatch. But anyway, I took one of these home with me, and this one didn't seem that interested in eating. Actually, it seemed a little bit annoyed with me. I felt kind of bad about this, but I did manage to coax it down onto the microphone. That's so cool, you can hear its little footsteps on the microphone. I don't think I realized that caterpillars have sticky feet, but you can hear its feet unsticking from the microphone. That's so cool. Anyway, so over the course of the next couple of months, I easily went out looking for caterpillars on 50 separate occasions. And these swallowtail caterpillars are so hard to find. They're just so elusive. I mean, look at how much biomass there is out here. Yeah, it's not that hard to find the butterflies, but it also doesn't seem like there are that many individuals out here. So yeah, maybe there are a dozen or maybe even a few dozen caterpillars out here somewhere. But it's like a needle in a haystack especially because I often see the butterflies up in the canopies of the trees. So the chances of just coming across one at eye level don't seem very high. So yeah, I never did find the caterpillar I was looking for. I don't know, another stupid video. <laughs> but I did find this chonky boy. Judging by the big spike on its tail, this is clearly some sort of hornworm although it doesn't look like the more common tobacco hornworm that you find, which looks like this. So I don't know what species this is, 
but I brought it home with me, and so I've got my Metal Marshmallow Pro, and I used a clamp to hold it upside down, and then I got this thing. I think it's for hanging pictures, but I cut the picture hook off of it, and then I poster puttied it to the microphone, and I put some double-sided tape on there, and I stuck a leaf to that, and so hopefully that'll give me good contact. And then I just cut out this little piece of rubber to try to cap off the sharp ends of the nails. And I put the caterpillar on there, and this fat bastard didn't seem to be annoyed by me at all. As long as it was eating, it seemed to be happy. Oh, gross, it's pooping. Oh, nasty! Anyway, so here it is eating. That's so crazy, I didn't expect to be able to hear it that well. Listen to that. Not only can you hear it eating, you can hear it struggling to get through the more fibrous parts of the leaf. That's so weird! Anyway, so yeah, I guess that answers that question once and for all. And just for the record, once I was done with these caterpillars, I did drop them back off where I found them. Uh, shit, I don't know where that went. But this isn't anywhere near anybody's tomato plants. Anyway, so yeah, I guess that was all I was going to say about that. Thanks for watching. If I ever do find a swallowtail caterpillar, maybe I'll post an update video or a short or something like that. So subscribe if you're interested in that. And as usual, please like and leave comments and all that kind of stuff. That really does help me out. And if you want to support this content, maybe consider buying a microphone from me. That would be helpful. But anyway, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about that for now. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!